Welcome back to Streaming Media East 2017. I'm Tim Seglin, contributing editor at Streaming Media Magazine, a media strategy principal at Real Solver Incorporated. Today I've got with me Eric Boyd from JW Player. Eric, go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience. Hi everybody, my name is Eric. I'm a director of product at JW Player. So tell me what director of product means because you know I, sure. I think a lot of us who've known JW over the years, both the person and, mm -hmm. and the product, um, you know, always looked at it as sort of, it was a labor of love and you didn't really see behind the curtains, but I remember JW saying a couple years ago he got funding, so obviously yeah. Yeah. he grew, he had to move to New York. Now, now you're giving me a formal title <laughs> yeah. from JW. So, so what do you do and why is it important to sure. us? Sure. So I started uh, JW Player about four years ago. Okay. Um, we had about 30 people in the okay. company. We're at 175 wow. today. And uh, the director of product title comes from, um, I'm a product manager with our, vid our video player, so the player okay, that sure. you, you know about and you're talking about here. Um, on my team, I have two other product managers, one that focuses on the like, core user experience of the player, and the other for the core uh, advertising aspect of okay. video playback. So, and, and speaking of user experience, we're doing a panel a little bit later today where you'll be on the panel talking yep. about user experience. Mm -hmm. How important is it for the company to make sure that there's a proper user experience for a variety of users on a variety of devices? It's it's very important. It, it comes with, actually a lot from our you know the founding of our company. Jerome, mm -hmm. he created it. Right. Uh, you know he's a he's got design background. You know mm -hmm. users are always the number one thing that we think about. Uh, you know, publishers end up you know, buying our, our technology and using it on their websites because the user experience, um, you know, users can use it, they can press play, they get video as soon as possible. So right. it's, it's, it's important for them because the faster that they get the video, the easier it is for their viewers to use. Uh, it just allows them to monetize that content a lot easier. So one thing we'll talk about on the panel that I want to give people a sneak peek on is how important is it to have a consistent user experience across multiple devices? And how does JW sort of handle that? Yeah, it, it helps uh, build a, a brand brand recognition. You know, you don't want to have a video player that looks uh, and feels different from your desktop to a mobile device. You know, you want to come there and you want to recognize what that play button looks like. <laughs> you want to make sure that you know, not just the design and the interface is the same, but the, the core aspect of being able to get that video to start up as fast everywhere. Okay. Every every device brings its its own challenges, and sure. uh, you know we we try to normalize that experience. And then you mentioned advertising as one of the other sort of project product management subsets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, th I think again, most of us thinking back to the past, JW had primarily been a player that was sort of antithetical to advertising. But, but obviously, if you've got a product manager, advertising is is key at some level. Talk yeah. to me about that a little bit as well. Sure. So, you know, we see video is growing everywhere. Not not just in the walled gardens like Facebook, YouTube. Right. Right. Uh, publishers all over the internet are, are growing their audiences with video. And, uh, they want to be able to monetize those audiences. So video advertising is, is huge. I, think, uh, I believe the IAB mentioned that by 2018, there's going to be at least $18 billion being spent on online advertising. Um, so there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of money there. And so for video advertising, a lot of the same core user experience you get from the regular video player has to work for those video ads as well. Right, very good point. And as a matter of fact, IAB sent out a press release this morning saying that they were moving actively against what they called illicit advertising inventory. So yeah. it's, it's a big deal. Clearly they want to make sure that, that there's compliance both with standards sure. as well as in, in terms of those packages. So what other things uh, with JW for the event tomorrow? What what can uh, people expect to see if they come to that event? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of really good conversations. We have some panels that are mostly built up of publishers. We have a, a publisher track and we okay. also have an advertiser track. Oh, very good. So there's just conversations about where where we see the industry today, where we see the industry going. And we have some uh, breakout panels as well that have um, a little bit more focused on like uh, data and analytics, mm. um, best practices in online advertising, best practices in user experience. Sure. That's one I'll be talking about okay. as well. Okay, very good, very good. Um, and I think finally, you all have over the years put out like a state of HTML5 mm -hmm. and, and like that. Is that continuing? Do you see uh, increased adoption in HTML5? Yeah, HTML5 is, is the way that we see the future going. 
uh, as far as like progressive web apps and even moving towards them away from SDKs. Okay, interesting. Eric, thank you very yeah, much for your thanks. time. Again, Tim Siglin, contributing editor with Streaming Media. We'll be right back.